Okay. So, um, the way, and this is something that I say at the beginning of each workshop, uh, the way I would like to conduct these is as a workshop, uh, rather than a lecture, also, or i.e. a monologue coming from me. Uh -huh. uh, so, I think, and I think it would be a lot more productive if uh, there was an exchange of, of ideas, um, and, you know, while you um, are watching what I'm presenting, if you have anything that, you know, any ideas that uh, you would think would be appropriate to implement, or any, any even classroom situations or assignments where, where this would, this kind of stuff would work, uh, it would be useful to bring it up so that we have something uh, to maybe start working on, you know, hands on. And one thing that I also should uh, tell people for, for maybe even for Thursdays to bring their own laptops. Oh, okay. To bring their Good idea. Because that's yes. something that would be uh, right. probably very, very useful and helpful. Um, so, and I do have a number of uh, of different things, of different uh, free tools uh, that I wanted to um, that I wanted to demonstrate. However, um, we may or may not be able to go through all of them. Yeah. Okay. Um, so the first thing uh, that I wanted to start with. Wait, can I can I interrupt? Sure. Uh, unless you don't want me to. But no, we can. It's so, it's, it's, um, it's, 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 it's for all of us. So. So you, you're gonna <laughs> show us certain tools that uh, tech tools that will help us in teaching. Do they have a specific? Do are they? Do they have a specific focus, or is just? All over the place. For listen, or no. was it for conversation? Listen, conversation. conversation. Like the, uh, for the topic for the day. That's yes. what I wanted. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, so the topic Breaks. For, 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 for this week yeah. is uh, the tools that might be useful in the teaching, uh, speaking, and pr pronunciation. And, pronunciation. and by teaching, uh, I mean that they provide you a way to. Uh, to record speech samples, uh, oh, to okay. listen to them, uh, to also um, embed model pronunciation in your teaching materials. So if you use Canvas, I will go and, and, and see how you can embed either your own pronunciation of different words or whatever you Sorry, find on the internet. Yes. Um, and again, the focus is to try to um, always implement. The, to, to, for, for the focus for me is to show you how to implement it in, in Canvas because this is the uh, default tool and platform that we are uh, working with here. Um, there is one tool that I found uh, for um, automatic speech evaluation. Um, it costs money to purchase a license for it, uh, but you can kind of see how it works um, because that feature is, is available for free, and if we have time, we'll get to it. Uh, but, so I would like to start with uh, the one tool that I already mentioned a number of times in the newsletter, and that is Vokaroo, and uh, Vaini already, uh, I've demonstrated Vokaroo yes. to you before. Uh, but Mona, you may not be familiar with it, so, and it is super simple. I haven't used it yet, but it's super simple. No, so it's fine if you want to to no. Uh, to uh, just I keep going. I can no. I'd like to see it again. It's fine. Look it up so that I don't keep you or yeah. Sign. No, 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 no. I like to see it again. Uh, <laughs> this is Volkeru. Uh, I don't have markers here, but the URL is uh, Volkeru. Dot com. Okay. Um, and it is a super easy tool to use uh, that allows you to actually uh, do a lot of things. Uh, first things first, what we need mm -hmm. to do is uh, okay. click to use flash okay. and then you record directly. One, and, and, then, and then you record. And of course okay. uh, you need to have a microphone uh, in your computer, which we all do. Uh, but recording is very simple. Uh, we just essentially press the button. It is connecting. You need to allow it one more time. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's already being recorded, and um, it's recorded through the microphone. And whenever we are done, we just you know click stop, and boom, the sample is recorded. Uh, if we want to, we can listen to it, <coughs> uh, and it's already being recorded. And um, it's recorded through the microphone. And whenever we are done, we just you know. Okay, and then click and save down. 
And then, uh, if you're not happy with your recording, of you course, retry you try it, it uh, which erases whatever it is that yeah. you've recorded up to now uh -huh. and replaces it with a new recording. When you're done, if you're happy with what you have, you click, click to save. save. So it's saving what is the uh -huh. extension? Well, you get to choose. Okay. Um, so there, there, are, there are a number of ways uh, in which you can utilize uh, this file right now. Uh, you can either download it as MP3 mm -hmm. or these other uh, file extensions, file types. I would recommend going for MP3 because it's most universal and you can, uh, it's recognizable by Mac OS and, and mm -hmm. Windows. So if we download it, it downloads as a regular MP3 file. Of course the name is uh, randomly generated but you can rename it uh, however you want. So. That is one thing that we can do with it. Uh, another thing that we could do with it is we can share it as a link, mm -hmm. if uh, that is what you would like to do, uh, or you can embed it, or you can embed it. Uh, for embedding, I think it would be most useful to demonstrate okay, demonstrate it in Canvas. So those are my MT Sandbox courses. Um, I already prepared a page uh, mm -hmm. where you can embed that. Uh, it is essential to note that uh, you can only embed it in pages. That's important, not in files. So you cannot uh, uh, copy because as we have the materials already mm -hmm. prepared for each week, obviously, yes. mm -hmm. uh, available on Canvas. I'm wondering whether, you know, based on the student's performance needs requests, um, if they record or I record, I record something and mm -hmm. I upload it in file in order to, uh, I embed it actually, but in order to associate it with the current topic or with the current issue that mm -hmm. they might have along might have had along the week or that I envisage to be a difficulty for the next week mm -hmm. based on previous experience. Um, so if the, not, that's fine. It's uh, it's it's in pages. It's important to know. Well, uh, there are there are, there are a couple mm -hmm. ways in which this content could be shared, and uh, many instructors um, already. Um, are used to a uh, content management system and uh, have already prepared materials uh, for the previous instantiation, mm -hmm. which was Sakai, right? And a lot of these materials are in PDF and or doc format. Yeah. Uh, what Canvas uh, lets you do is it lets you create these, these pages, which essentially are regular web pages uh, that you can uh, develop using this framework here. Mm -hmm. So I already prepared one. <laughs> For today's little presentation, uh, it is our pronunciation page, and I will open it right up. It's, you will notice that it contains nothing other than the title. Uh, I already have it. No published. toys in your sandbox. Hmm? No toys in the sandbox. No toys in the sandbox. Mm, not yet. I remove them periodically. Um, so, if we would like to embed what we just recorded, there are a number of ways we can do that. Uh, you remember that we already downloaded the file. Mm -hmm. um, as it so happens, uh, Canvas lets you import files yeah. into the framework, whether it's PDFs, docs, videos, or sound files. So if we want to use the MP3 file that we downloaded, one way to do it would be to edit. And if we... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And here we have our little text editor. Let's type up the word text. This will be our, and you will see why in a second. Now, what we need to do is scroll down, and on bigger screens, this will be to the side of the text editor. If we go to Files, and upload a new file, And it's saved to download, so it would be this MP3 right here. Now it will upload to this folder, which is our 
course files folder. And you will see that the automatically there's an automatically generated hyperlink to mm -hmm. that file, right? Uh, what we could do is, since it doesn't really look very appealing or very pretty, mm -hmm. we could erase it, highlight the word text, mm -hmm. scroll down, <coughs> and, the, the code. and under the Files tab, mm -hmm. we could turn the word text into hyperlink. And then right. you will see that after publishing no. it, okay. our yes. website now has this sound and it will you can download it again I mean this would be of course for your students right mm -hmm. um, sure continue uh, this is for uh, what, what is happening right now is uh, Mac is automatically trying to use iTunes to to open it mm -hmm. and it wants you to agree to whatever uh, and it's already being recorded and um, it's recorded through the microphone, and whenever we are done, then we just... Mm -hmm. uh, another nifty feature of Canvas is that it lets you play the sound automatically from Canvas without the need to download it. Mm -hmm. Whenever it's that's done. That's good, yes. Whenever it's done converting it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so that's one way uh, to embed those files into your course materials. Another way to do it, uh, if I can, okay, if I can get to it, let's go back to pages here. I don't really care much for for your conversion. Um, another way to do it, if we go back to Boker right here, is to embed the code. Mm -hmm. And this might look a little bit scary, but it's actually no, it's easy. super easy. Uh, we will. I copy use it, it on on uh, on Sakai on. Uh, for right. For videos, for sometimes for YouTube videos yes. or little films, you mm -hmm. need to embed the code and to, to get the time frame. Yep, it's a standard object. Well, it it's a standard so it's object. Mm -hmm. standard object. Mm -hmm. uh, Viney, is this something that you've had experience with before? To do this, to mm -hmm. uh, embed the code, yes. Mm. I, I know how to do that. Okay, perfect. Yeah. I'll just show you how to really quickly how to do with Vokaru and uh, right. what it rather looks like when you embed embed the code with sure. uh, with Vokaru. So copy it, go to pronunciation, go to our website. Uh, we want to go back to editing it, and then rather than the text editor, we need to switch to HTML editor here. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can't paste it into the text because if that is what you do, it's going to display not the not what the code is pointing to, but the code itself. Oh, I see. So if we just give it a one, actually, let's do a page break here and insert the code here. Uh, the page break is just that is how you encode a space in uh, in HTML. And if we save it. So it is published. Okay, I'm not really sure why this is not. Okay, use it. Okay, so we should get a button like this. Uh -huh. For some reason, it didn't materialize at first, uh, but this is what it should look it like. should look like. Mm -hmm. And now you'll notice that we click on it. Uh, and it's already being recorded. And um, it's recorded through the microphone and went. So it'll be, it'll be something like this. And this is a really cool tool that I use a few times to um, demonstrate how uh, different, uh, how the text should sound or the target forms or, you know, various uh, formulaic phrases or idiomatic expressions, how those we should use how, how much, um, how much um, recording does it hold? I mean, how long can your statement be? I mean, it just you know, from the standpoint of, of applied linguistics and just you know human psychology in general, like I would not be you know the attention span is not more than fourteen minutes. But it can do that. Uh, it can do that. I, yeah, I, I mean, I would. Mean, I just mean, can it uh, hold thirty minutes of oh, I have spoken? Sure. It um, it, it's just you know, it large. will it will not uh, it will probably not be very 
useful to, to you know. No, no, them. yeah, I, I mean just technically kind of do it. Not oh, yeah, yeah, not say. definitely. So, um, any questions about this? Can you guys think no, of any? No, you know what I like about it? That when you go to the homepage of Vokaroot, there's just nothing, just this. Yep. There's no bells and whistles, there's no, oh my god, what do I do? It's just so simple. Mm -hmm. That yeah. I like about it. Pretty, pretty straightforward. Yep. Um, okay, so this will require um, some work on your part uh, if you want to present your students with a modeled pronunciation. You're gonna have to do the heavy so and for they it. can then do the same. They can record but, themselves. Right. And it goes both ways. So, so if they submit it, so for instance, I want them to submit it uh, on a Canvas. You know the way they submit things. Will it be a file comp uh, like all their files, or should they? Should they go to the page that they create for it and upload it there? Can they do that individually? Do you know what I mean? Um, Instead of getting 20 pages or something? You don't need to... Well, it's not going to be 20 pages. Remember that you, they can record and they can download a file of each recording. Right. So they okay. can just send so, you a number so, of files. So they send the files like they normally right. submit a file. Mm -hmm. And boom, voila, that is, uh, that is how you can, you can mm -hmm. handle it. Uh, the Volcaro automatically embeds a link uh, to its site beneath the button. Oh. So that is what they need to click on in order to, to get there. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but again, this is something that uh, is just a vessel for, for recordings. Uh, it's great for instructors. It's really good for students too. Uh, but let's say that you are really strapped for time and don't necessarily want to uh, record or have the time to record different uh, pronunciations. Uh, another tool uh, to mitigate that uh, would be Forvo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Forvo is a community-based uh, open source site uh, which you'll get the most mileage from by creating an account. It takes 10 seconds to do that. I already have one, of course, so I'm just gonna use mine. Maybe a Facebook, you can use Facebook to log in. And what Forvo does is, mm -hmm. uh, you can see it very well here. Let me blow it up. It presents you with pronunciations in various languages. Now, it's important to keep in mind that those are pronunciations that were uh, that were supplied by the members of the Foro community. Some of them are better than others, so you're going to have to use your judgment uh, when selecting those. But let's go to, I don't see any Romanian, let's see Dutch. So you see right here that there are over 100,000 words that are pronounced on Forvo that you can listen to. This one looks pretty outlandish, so let's click that. And by clicking the play button, you can actually listen to it. Onderhandelaars akkoord. Belgium. Okay. That's a bell from, she from Belgium. That's Dutch too. We cannot discriminate against them, can we? Mm, well, no, but this is, you know, this is something that uh, I wanted to point out that you will have to listen to these no, before. No, it's, it's great. Uh, right. Um, so once you've selected the word, uh, there are a number of things uh, that you can do. You can either vote <laughs> for it if it's good or if it's bad. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. You can love it if you want, whatever that means. Uh, or, hate can... <laughs> or, or hate it. What? Or hate it. Or hate it. Yes. Uh, but I think uh, the most useful thing is downloading it. Okay. Okay. Uh huh. You download That's it, it goes nice. straight into the download folder, and from there on you can put it into your, uh, into Canvas, the same way that you import, uh, that we imported the Volker file. Uh-huh. Um, and so you mean if you want to use not your own voice, but someone else for yeah, the yeah. word? If you don't want to, you know, record everything, because yeah. why reinvent the wheel if, you know, people have already, uh, some people have already recorded it, uh, 
you can just go there and, and, and see what you can find. Um, some languages will be a lot better represented than the others. Um, I don't know how well Romanian is represented. I don't know if you probably have to scroll down from the first page. No, let's see. see. Let's see. To see if there is something. Yes. If you go back. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. By these. No, things. no, down, down, down. Yeah. Uh, probably like. If Let Romanian. There oh, we there. are. Okay. Twenty-four thousand words. Twenty-four million words. No, no speakers. Are speakers. Twenty, almost twenty-six thousand words. Yeah. Let's do a long one. Uh. Not Ioana Purvulescu. It's a proper noun, and I can stand her anyway. <laughs> okay. What about a little cup? That, 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 that's too yeah. easy. No. No, no, no. It's not easy okay. because you have to. Uh, all right. Policist. Good? Yeah, it's like... Uh, it's the like Russian. Huh? Sounds like Russian. It's in the same word. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is from Russian, actually. And you know what it... Uh, why is it... They have the sound uh, so the first one in the on the right uh, side. Uh, the first one on the right side, uh, the A with the diacritic here. Done. Uh, new words for pronouncing. Ah, so I have to... Okay. So you would need to. Okay. Uh, that's another thing that it's, it's really it's great that you're bringing it up right now because that was going to be my next point. Uh, as once you create an account with Forvo, you sign up for the community and you can then provide pronunciations. You can contribute to it. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of a um, a little bit more advanced, I would say, uh, Bokuru. In that sense, um, everything they, as in you can contribute your own. And it's uh, a shared it. uh, source, uh, similar to what you do when you record there in the <coughs> box. Yes. Upstairs, and mm -hmm. you decide to keep it uh, as an open source, or to keep it only for the Columbia community. Have your own. Well, this will be. This will be. The vocabulary. This will be open. I know. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, the mine are, are open too. For that, I uploaded on Columbia. Mm -hmm. Videos and audios. I, I left them as open source. So um, you will notice also um, that mm. it tells you Romanian is not selected not as your native language. And that is because when I created an account, I Polish. selected uh, Polish, Polish, let's say, as my, as my native language, right? And um, should you then want to create your own account, you would select Romanian, and in that case, it will allow you to, to record a pronunciation to. for it. Oh, that's actually good, so that you don't get people uh, recording not in a native language. Although, as we s we've seen with Belgian... Yeah, but it's a native language, mm -hmm. Dutch, so it's right. fine. It's just an, uh, I detect an accent, mm -hmm. but it's a an, uh, an legitimate accent, it's fine. But that's very good, because otherwise you don't know, you know, what, a, what you're listening to in another language. Mm -hmm. If you're learning a language, mm -hmm. that's a legitimate pronunciation. Yeah. That's actually good. So, um, this would be for though. Any, any questions or any ideas how you would... I, I've used it for, for when I was learning Italian to just listen okay. to. So I've le used it as a language learner. And so I found it very helpful. And now I know, because you say you have to sign up for it, mm -hmm. and your language, that you can trust it. Yes. And it is, it is a free resource as well. Yeah. So, or yeah. at least for no, I think it's great. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Are you familiar that you can also listen to model pronunciation through Google Translate? Yes, I think I know that. Okay, um, then I will... But at, at, at that pronunciation tool, mm -hmm. is that, uh, can you be certain that that's also native speakers? Like with Forvo, you can, and Google Translate, I wonder, because any, anybody can access that, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Credibility would be a big issue with pronunciation. Yeah, let me hear it. Uh -huh. Because this is very right. difficult. Good evening. No good? No, it is. Good evening. It's not, uh, it's not native pronunciation. Mm -hmm. Okay. See, so yeah, problem, so with, with, with it's Google, probably Quantico, Virginia. <laughs> I, no, it might. I think it's a. Uh, I mean, it, it's it's probably computer generated. Yeah, because sounds like that, right? Yes. Very mechanical. Or or. Uh, yeah. 
So it's the less more good Provo, resource. Utah generated. At, uh, what's the name of this? Brigham Young. Because they have quite a good language. Too. They do. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but even if this is not 100% um, no, accurate, it, I think No, it, it it's is so accurate, but it's uh, like Vaini. I detected either it's computer generated, which is fine, mm -hmm. or it's, uh, it's spoken by someone who learned Romanian as a second language, but very correctly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that, I wouldn't say, uh, let's say cleaner, mm -hmm. in a more, you know, cleaner. Clean. Let's say uh, here I detect a little lag, you have the, you know. <laughs> okay. Um. Well, then it will be, you know, your call if you want to recommend this, uh, or like I generally tell my students never to use this Google Translate. You don't, you don't know how much my students hate me for making them pronounce that word. Okay. <laughs> because of the U and E. Um, okay. Good. So that would be, um, that would be Google. There's mm -hmm. one more thing. That I wanted to show you. Actually, there are two more things I wanted to show you. Maybe more. Let's see. Um, so we we've seen uh, Voker, we've seen Forbo. Mm -hmm. um, another tool that's sort of one step removed mm -hmm. from from Forbo is uh, is AudioLingua. Mm -hmm. hmm. And um, unlike Forvo, AudioLingua is pretty limited uh, in terms of the languages that it offers. Oh, I don't um, know it has Catalan. Yes, because it was created by the unit of the um, your linguistic unit of the European Commission. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And yeah. somehow these tools were created if you, I mean, if you, of course, you read in Michael Byram and everything, and all the specialists and uh, ideologists of the, the uh, European Union Language Project, yeah. some of the tools were added uh, by request and in, uh, in, in accordance to the extension needs, uh, of the extension of the enlargement of the EU and inclusion of other languages, not necessarily at the end of a logical process, so it, it makes it a, makes it a little unbalanced. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying it's ideologically biased, but it's you Maybe know. It is. Hmm? I don't know. I, I have no arguments. You know, I don't want to be mm -hmm. paranoid. Here. I don't know. It, I've never seen it. But um, so what does it do? So what does it do? It's a connection of. Uh, so it's a similar thing to what mm -hmm. Horrible does, except for mm -hmm. in a few mm -hmm. or fewer languages. Uh, you can choose the language in which you want the web website to display. Romanian does not exist. Mm -hmm. um, I, I'll, just, I'll just go to English. Okay. Yeah, I, I know, because we had a discussion about Romanian on this at the Language Institute in mm -hmm. the summer. Um, and then, let's say, well, I'm familiar with German, so we'll mm -hmm. go here. And um, there are just there's sound samples, yeah, no. oh, cool. and those are longer and and divine. You can I mean you can you can both okay. actually can probably be really simple. So Maxima Katerina of Berlin, Lena of Bochum, and Maximiliana of Spain. Okay, I'm I'm familiar in German pronunciation. I don't understand much. Uh, so this is a shorter text fragment uh, where Maximiliana, who lives in the countryside, and tells Lena and Katrin. Uh, about about her, her house animals, house pets. Um, so there's a short fragment uh, that you can listen to, uh, that you can also use for instruction in German. Uh, would be useful, I imagine, when you talk about animals. Although I don't understand why is it necessary to teach introductory students about animals. Uh huh. I, I don't know, but it does say A2. That, uh, that's helpful. It tells the level. It does, A2 it does is give you a level. Exit. Well, but it's well, still. It's not, uh, yes. It still doesn't. It is still you doesn't know why? Me. Because if you, if you go on the criteria of the, the European framework, mm -hmm. under, under the vocabulary section, under A2, uh, the, the person who, who is self assessing mm -hmm. himself or herself 
has to check whether at the nature level they know how to describe the, the, their surroundings. Yes. Mm -hmm. There, if you remember, their medium, their surroundings, they can react with errors to questions they can answer from the two prompts uh, about their surroundings, about their profession, about their whatever identity, social identity. Yep. So probably because this is not necessarily an academic, uh, academically targeted uh, type of resource as uh, we're speaking about the European Union and any type of worker can self-assess in any language. So it's you migrate as a worker, mm -hmm. you work in a farm, you're not yep. going to speak about Schopenhauer. So okay. help us God. Uh, Sounds great. <laughs> so, uh, well, but, but, Probably but, that's but the idea, this. I don't know, yes. Um, so right on the on top it tells you the level, more or less, uh, uh, the, uh, the sex of the voice, right? Uh, it tells you whether it's what? a. Well, I don't like you, to use the word gender. You you sound like John Barth in Chimera. How long it is, yeah, uh, the topics, cool. and uh, and the other topic, and mm -hmm. then uh, presented with this, it also tells you how big the file is and what format it is. All of them are going to be MP3s essentially, but much like with the other uh, mm -hmm. tools, you can, you can download the file if you yeah. want. Uh, you can embed it with our ubiquitous uh, iframe, mm -hmm. uh, which again would work in the same way as, as Bokaru did. The actual button will be probably different, but it's, the concept is the same. Um, or you can share the URL right here. Right. Mm -hmm. But less for us because not our languages. Right, so not your languages, yeah. of course. Um, but I think it would still be maybe worth the monitoring problem. this site every so often and just to just see, see if, if that, yeah. Because so they, they keep working on it. Right, so it's right. a continuous uh, project. Mm. Now, of course, if you want to, even though it's not your language, but hypothetically in the future, should this become something that, that serves your language, mm -hmm. uh, there is a way to add your own material to it. Uh, but it is a lot more cumbersome to do than with uh, the other two sites. You can just record it. Uh, the way they want you to do that is to add a la to add a language. Yeah, to to add a mm -hmm. uh, sound sample. Okay. Which could be in you know, what text or story. I think goes to stupid. Mm -hmm. Okay, French of course. Um, okay, how to submit resources, mm -hmm. again it's a European Union project, so of course. Ah, of course, by the time you submit resources the European Union is no longer together, I Please. don't know, uh, but you have to fill out a form, right here. Don't we know it, how it functions. Yes, mm -hmm. you've got to, you know, check all the boxes that are applicable, uh, then finally upload the file and then certify. Mm -hmm. uh, whatever they want you to certify. I've never submitted anything to this, so I don't know what the process beyond that. Uh, if you want, you can test it out. Um, but I, that is as far as I will, I will take you um, with this uh, particular tool. Okay. Um, good. Anything that we should point out here, other than? No, I guess it's, it's pretty. Yep. Clear. Pretty, pretty clear. Um, mm. My favorite. Ah. Last but not least. Is. Okay. Oh, I think it stopped recording. As in, the screen is no longer recording. Or maybe it is recording. Um, mm. Anyway, my favorite is Sound Sight. Sound Sight. At. Never heard of it. Nightlab.com. Nightlab.com. Ah. And tell us why it's your favorite. It is my favorite because it's the most elegant out of all of them. Oh. And it's the most elegant because it lets you create things like this. Oh, it gives right. you a text. Simon's favorite. And the text can be whatever you want it to be. And mm. if you want your students to hear the mm -hmm. pronunciation of certain words in the text, Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So it basically uh, allows you to choose 
mm -hmm. to highlight portions of a script mm -hmm. and to associate the, the, the audio file associated with that portion or what? It's an audio annotating tool that allows you to annotate uh -huh. lines of text. And the, the annotation is with, with sound, which doesn't have to be, of course, pronunciation, although for language instructors, I think pronunciation would be the default uh, sort of use. It could be anything, um, any kind of sound that you want. So for instance, here we saw that the crowd was as large. We click play, and it plays you how large uh, the crowd mm -hmm. was. Uh, this tool is a little bit less intuitive, a little more difficult to use than the other ones, but it's not, uh, it is not impossible. So let me show you what I'm talking about here. Um, so how do you do it? You, you basically tag ports, portions of text we'll, with sound? We'll get there. Hmm? Well, first of all, first of all we need a audio file. And for the audio file, um, unfortunately, it only accepts uh, online sound, mm -hmm. uh, which is part of the reason why I left this for the very end of this workshop, because by now we already know how to generate mm -hmm. online uh, speech samples mm -hmm. and how to save and exchange them uh, or trade them as, as URLs. So let's go back to our favorite little tool, Volker. And hmm. let's record a word. Dog. Dog. House of Gaba. Oh. Uh, your your background is also probably recorded. Um, now we click to save it. We got the URL right here. Okay. Okay. What we do is we copy it. Sound site. I pop it, you simply you huh. it. And then the next step is to attach it to tag it to the fragment of the text that you highlight. So when you click on it, it's. Uh, One second, it's not. Mm -hmm. When you click on it, you have the, the sound. Uh, it's interesting that it's not. Working. I'm wondering. Oh. Is it because it's connected to Bokaru that it doesn't uh, it, you know it, it might be it. Perhaps ah. it's not necessarily working with Bokaru. Mm -hmm. They mm -hmm. are they do use SoundCloud a lot. But if you let's say you save it as an MP3, uh, you record it on Bokaru. Let's uh, let's have this hypothetical situation, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. I record a word or whatever. I and make an uh, MP3 file. I hmm? and make an MP3 file. Exactly. Uh, I I use Vakaru as a recording tool, and then uh, I don't save it as a link, but as a file. Mm -hmm. Is that possible? As an MP3 file or WAV file or whatever. It is. So what essentially what you would so do that is not a link to a different. Uh, you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. It's not. It does not link. To to Bakaru, but it's it maybe kicked it's, off by this one. It's a separate file, Exa right? So you exactly. want to embed a separate file. Exactly. So, mm -hmm. Right. In order to do that, you would need to uh, have a local URL, and I don't know if this is something that uh, SoundSite allows you to do. You can use some files on a web server of your of your choice. You know what? That's fine. Let's do this. Since we already have a file mm -hmm. in Canvas, mm. right? We do because because we do, and this is the file right here that we have, right? Okay. And uh, I'm wondering. You have to rename it. No. If we right click, mm -hmm. uh -huh. and copy link, uh -huh. and then copy it into that. See that because works. it's connected to the to coursework. Yeah, it's mm. in theory, but it's also not mm -hmm. not loading. Okay, 
Well, that's part of the discovery. Is process. it because no, 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 no? Is it because of the the download process? No, it's not. It's a download. Thing. Yeah, it's, it's put the URL. Uh, you can use SoundCloud or all your files on a web server of your choice. Mm -hmm. Well, it is <laughs> right now the on web a web server, server of your choice, choice, but it's not. It's so a SoundCloud is another way to um, to mm -hmm. make audio. And that probably works then. So it's for the same kind of outfit, right? Um, well, since they're using SoundCloud, I think it's safe to assume that that is something that they that works. And it is a free platform. Mm -hmm. um, let's say let's click this. This would be our this would be the song. I mean, it's not obviously a file or a uh, speech sample, but that, that is okay. There you, uh, go. Right, there you go. Okay, so it, so it wants you to use some SoundCloud, yeah. or perhaps YouTube or um, for SoundCloud. What you, it's a, what you would need to do in order to use SoundCloud, um, just set up an account, and mm -hmm. the upload process is really simple. Uh, once you have your sound samples ready, recorded, you just put it on SoundCloud, um, and um, that is something that I can help you with individually. And once they are there, you can import them into, or link them to SoundSite, where they will appear like this. Now, the first, the next step would be to tell the computer what part of the recording uh, you are interested in it playing. Ah, so this is how you do it. Nice. You're tagging it to a text. Well, you will. The, the text will come. Uh, oh, we'll get to the text. Part. Um, for now, for now, we're trying to oh, determine sorry. how much of it. Like, if it's a whole file, then obviously you want to put the end time of the actual mm. thing. Uh, let's say that you know we want the whole song to play, and it, we want it to play only once, mm -hmm. or the song file only once, and then the link text would be our test song. And this is important because this is here in the this is the part of the text that will be highlighted, that will be interactive, that will be responsive. Mm -hmm. Okay, you don't input the text and then highlight it uh -huh. in uh -huh. Canvas. You right. prepare it ahead. Okay, so after we uh, have already set all that up, we create the clip. Mm. Come on. If it only works. Uh, works. Is it because it has a different name of what is? No. Huh? Maybe you have to. Put the start line. time and end time if you play around with that. Uh -uh. Okay, so starting will be zero, yeah, end time will be zero. Maybe one. Zero, maybe yeah, zero link one. Test must not be blank. Yeah. Maybe it's zero one. Maybe zero 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 is not good. Yeah, let's see. Scroll down to see what it does it want. Please mm -hmm. create the errors about trusting me. Link text must not be blank. Well, it's not blank. No. Right now. So let's do this and this. Uh, place one. Link test. Uh huh. Yeah, it's not really working. Part of the reason for that might be because. I'm is using, an actual link? Uh. Hmm? No. Because this oh, no, shows no, no, no. you. Okay, so start time. Let's do here. Right. Let's try it and I'm sorry about that, I did not. Uh, that doesn't matter at all. Let's see. Uh, no, so Night. Night love. Okay. Let's do it again. 
again. Here's our URL. Alright, okay, and we wanted to play the whole song and it would be sound test. Mm. Uh, this was not working, okay. Uh, it was well it was working in my in my office. Mm. Well, at any rate, um, I, will, well, look I'm sorry, the idea. I will have to I will have to look into it and right. um, and, and, and see what uh, what went wrong here. Uh, but essentially, I mean, I can I can tell you um, what happens later once you get the once you're successful uh, with making this clip, uh, it will generate a link. Uh, that is a rather an iframe. Or, or like this, that you enter into your Canvas website. However, the way to do it is from, let's say here, so here we start the new sound, the new and um, sound test, and I put in parentheses so that if you go to the HTML editor, oh, you, you can heard. find the word mm. Sound test, mm -hmm. and then this is what you would replace mm -hmm. with the link oh, neat. generated here. Right. And that way, once you plug it in there mm -hmm. and refresh the site, uh -huh. uh, you will get a you will get the text with the bit highlighted. Right. And uh, I apologize for this not working, even though I'm not really sure why it isn't. Uh, it didn't mm -hmm. work upstairs. Um, but that would be that would be sound side. It's a really exciting tool. It's super elegant. I really like it. Again, uh, you could probably accomplish a very similar effect uh, with um, by creating hyperlinks in uh, where are we in in Canvas. Save it so rather than inserting a an interactive playable link, what we could do is edit it, turn this into or port a file to it, and that way. It might not be animated, it might not be interactive in that sense, but, but it's still, still a hyperlink that will play yeah. or download once clicked on. I got to run because I have to meet okay. with that student, yeah. but uh, Simon down the road, you know what I would also be interested in? I don't even know if it exists, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but uh, I always like to uh, do at some point uh, board games with my students, Dutch board games. Mm -hmm. or any games. But in the distance class, obviously you can't play a board game because they're not there, right? Are there tools that you can do an online type um, game? That you would then share? That they can play with a student here and share, yes. So well, it's off my head. You can do. You can. Uh, I mean, I mean, maybe we can do an uh, a session about that at some point. Sure. What are the possibilities of doing really a fun game together? Um, there is a um, there is a really easy and simple to use uh, generator for who wants to be a millionaire. Like for it, yeah, something like that. that. You can do? Okay. Uh, something like that. Something that is a little bit. It's still. Uh, instructional, mm -hmm. but uh, also a little may, a bit more irreverent, and where uh, you're not actually the focus is not so much learning language, but the folk, but you learn it anyway. But the focus is doing a fun thing together as a class. Yeah. 
And okay. that, you know, because that is, is difficult when you have a distance class, or at least I have not find that, found anything, or it would take me it would take me weeks to find something like that. But if you know something, that would be... Yeah, I'll we'll look into it. Before you, um, well, maybe before we finish, there's one more really quick thing that I uh, wanted to show. Again, this will not be as relevant to you. And actually, this will not even open in Safari. I'll have to go to Chrome for this. Okay. Some, uh, you might very well be familiar with this uh, tool, but mm -hmm. features. Um, okay, well, it's not even coming up. I'm just plagued by technical issues. Okay. And if you don't click, if you click on the language, it does, does it happen anything? You know, it just translates the Ah, uh, just the, the, mm. the name of uh, the title oh boy. and the name, okay. Okay, but what it does is, uh, if you go to the site in Google Chrome, you'll notice that at the bottom, which, because the site mm -hmm. is poorly designed, it doesn't open here, uh, you will notice that at the bottom it opens a window uh, where it shows you uh, animations of the vocal tract. Uh, oh when pronouncing different sounds and right yeah. now it's service it has it in english it has it in german it has it in spanish uh, but i wanted to bring it up in case uh, people in case instructors would be interested in creating a resource like that for their class and maybe using that to apply for a grant oh okay interesting again i wish i ever got i can't show it right it's not working but um you know sounds of speech university of iowa Sounds of speech. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah, I'll uh, have it down. Uh, thank you very much. Sure. And I'll see you down the road. Yep. Okay. That would be all. All right. Thank you.